quick video, older badass TV shows to check out. Um, of course, the original Star Trek. Of course, Tom Baker's Doctor Who. That's like goes without saying. It's probably the greatest shows of all time, except no imitations. And um, it's a whole other video series about the cultural vandalism and how new Star Trek, Doctor Who, and Star Wars are all garbage. They all are. Trust no one. All that new stuff is just absolute trash. And um, you'll see about real science fiction when you uh, watch the original stuff. Try to get the unimproved versions of Star Wars if you can. Um, but now let's move on to mystery stuff. Um, check out Perot, Agatha Christie stuff. David, I think his name's Suchet. And um, check out Jeremy Brett as Sherlock Holmes. Insane. And I don't particularly like it, but it, I can still admit that it's pretty good. It's watchable, but it's not like, you know, top tier to me. Uh, Lovejoy. Very um, pretty awesome show. And um, then, believe it or not, Charlie Chan. There's a series of 40 movies by Charlie Chan. is really good. Um, and they go way back, like 1929 through 50s, this kind of stuff. And I forget the guy who plays Charlie Chan. And then he always has, like, one of his sons, because he has, like, ten kids, or daughters helping him out. And it's super hysterical, really well done, and good mystery stuff. Great stuff to watch after dinner, you know, with a little bit of ice cream. Um, check them all out. I personally think a lot of the TV shows now are just trash. I can barely watch TV personally because it's so the And um, uh, I found the Game of Thrones good, but again, not great. Especially that final season, it's like, boy, dropped the ball big time. But it had it had the magic at certain points, especially with the bald guy and the dwarf. I mean, that stuff was good. And then the kind of like, um, what was the name of the mercenary guy? Kind of like... Hard drinking mercenary guy from bread or broad or something. It was pretty good. And then um, the faceless man guy. I mean, come on, that was like, that has to be one of the coolest characters anybody came up with in a long time. And I wonder how much that was like the TV doing that well. And then um, what's his name that stole the show, but they kicked him out the next season? Uh, who played um, the Queen's kind of like warrior consort? Um, and then he was in some Marvel movie, randomly, fighting uh, Deadpool. What was that guy's name? Damn, that guy was awesome. I should almost stop the video and find out. But you know, you guys know who I'm talking about. It was like this guy who basically, his quote was, I like, I want to be with a woman who wants, you know, wants to be made love to or something like that. I'm not trying to make this not kid friendly, but it was like, the whole idea is that, you know, in a world where guys can just grab women and do crazy stuff because it's like primitive. He's only into women that actually want him, which I thought was awesome. And uh, I can't remember his name right now. He kind of had a little pale English-looking guy with, like, um, blue eyes. But that guy stole the show, and I can't believe they kicked him on next scene. It's like, what are you bad guys doing? You know, destroyed the best character in the whole movie. But anyway, they placed him with a really lame, like, Italiano guy. It just sucked. So, um... Who knows? We'll see what happens there. Um, I guess, well, that show had, had its ups and downs, right? Game of Thrones. So that, guy, that can be a whole other video. Um, then other shows. Um, if you're just talking TV in general or movies, you can check out Italian cinema. A lot of stuff by Dario Argento, horror stuff, and Fulci. Probably never hear about that in like the SJW-dominated media, but that stuff's like dynamite. Really good stuff. Um, mainly set in Italy, a lot of European locations, and they actually have a cool plot. Something going on, you can't easily figure out. Um, then the original Miss Marple um, with Margaret Rutherford. <laughs> I mean, you might think it's corny. That thing's like four movies. It's out of, insanely awesome. And then the other Miss Marples are pretty good too. They always have a good plot because it's based on Alpha Agatha Christie. Um, Good, you know, like after dinner stuff to watch. Just trying to throw this stuff out to you so you guys, you know, can see some stuff that most people don't see. Because um, I, you know, I, I'm personally have, you know, I'm, I'm butthurt because um, I didn't know about A.E. Van Boyd or Jack Vance until I was in my 30s. And I consider either of them can contend for the greatest author of all time. Right? I read Michael Moorcock, which is in contention too. 
and then probably rounding out the week four would be Robert E. Howard, which I kind of read as well. But how could I have been as a sci-fi and not heard of A.E. Van Voigt or Jack Benson? A.E. Van Voigt um, inspired both Star Trek and Alien. And Jack Vance was the um, guy who inspired Dungeons and Dragons, the magic system of Dungeons and Dragons, and like, you know, a lot of the whole feel of original Dungeons and Dragons came straight out of Jack Vance's The Dying Earth. And um, you guys haven't read that, or gals, Whew. you're in for a treat there. Um, I guess Jack Vance, V A N C. <clears throat> so, um, other TV stuff. Why am I drawing blanks in this stuff? I mean, I have a little disc full, but um, uh, just run with what I just gave you guys, um, and gals, because um, you'll be pleasantly surprised. Just take some advice and take a little risk and go check it out. And um, thank me later. <laughs>